We've just returned from the opening session at the Great Hall of the People, where the political report was read to the delegates and the assembled press. It was something of a flurry of activity, you can imagine, thousands of people going through the doors at once now, and I wanted to share my sort of immediate reactions and what I believe to be the key takeaways. Now, achievements were certainly brought up. The victory over absolute poverty, vast increases in per capita GDP and incomes compared to 10 years ago, but these were front-loaded. They served as preamble to the difficult work that still needs doing to build on these gains and ensure they constitute a permanent foundation. And what will that work entail? More progress on what the country terms high-quality development, economic development predicated on innovation and movement up the value chain instead of aggregate GDP growth, and a focus on the meat and potatoes, metrics that indicate tangible improvements in the people's lives. Employment, educational attainment, life expectancy, and other health outcomes. These are the figures that will buoy the country's progress in the long term and are key to its overall modernization campaign. Modernization and development were the most oft-repeated words in the report, and with good reason. Despite decades of advancement, China began its modernization progress from a very low baseline as a mostly agrarian, semi-industrialized country. This has meant a protracted period was required to begin to catch up with the advanced economies who had a century's head start on its own development. So the political report is delivered to each CPC National Congress every five years. It's generally considered to be China's most important policy address. It's a very wide-ranging document covering work done on practically all areas of concern, laying out plans for continuing that work, and setting the agenda in terms of an overarching vision for the country. For example, during the report delivered to the 19th Congress, it was announced that the principal contradiction facing Chinese society, the issue underpinning all others, was the contradiction between unbalanced development and the need for a better life. So for this report, it's about agenda setting, but it's also about setting the tone, defining the philosophical and ideological outlook that will characterize the country's approach to problem solving. As it enters a new phase of modernization, again with an emphasis on quality over quantity, China must hold steady to its course by continuing to strive forward in all sectors while correcting issues of imbalance that constrain its overall development. Not an easy task, but we will be watching as the country rises to meet it over the next five years and beyond.